Okay, so living in London is super easy. If you ever fancy some good Chinese food, just come to Chinatown. But I want to show you some places where you would least expect to find good Chinese food. So let me take you there. So we are at Victoria Park Market, and here we have cuisine from all over the world. But we are going to go with the Asian-inspired food. So we're going to go and visit Robert and Mel at Eat La. Hey Robert! Um, I'm having some food today. So we're doing basically nasi garabu. This is a Northeast Malaysian dish. Uh -huh. The unique thing about this dish is that the rice is actually blue. The reason it's blue is because we use um, a flower petal or butterfly pea uh -huh. to make the rice, so it kind of naturally dyes it. Mm. And then it's served with either um, coconut chicken, satay chicken. Mm -hmm. You know what, Evelyn, I'm feeling a bit huh? tired today. Maybe you should do this. This makes me remember being in my dad's takeaway. Well, Take that, dad. Can you tell that I've worked in a takeaway? I can tell. So you started this with your wife, Mel. Yep. Uh, well, I was actually working as an architect and a designer for about 10 years. Your parents must be... Very proud. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> Very proud. Now I'm taking chicken and rice on the street. <laughs> so how long were you working in the, um, your father's? So my dad got the takeaway, um, yeah, when I was in my teens, when he wouldn't, he didn't trust me to cook. Yeah. He just didn't think I was good enough. <laughs> I just did a few years there. So, just a yeah. few years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think what I did, about you? I think I did half my, um, my childhood. So I'm going to taste Eat La's amazing food. And they gave me two forks, but I'm not going to share it with anyone. This is so good. Oh. Okay. Guys, next we're gonna go and meet Mandy from Sambal Shiok. Oh, Sambal Shiok. And I see no all boss. of your kind of awards and yeah. recognition. Yeah. We great. won a Chin He Huang's Best Innovation uh, <gasps> Award. Oh, that great. Year. So, Mandy, you started out as a lawyer. I trained as a lawyer, practiced in corporate law for several years. I uh, basically burnt out as a lawyer. I was working crazy hours. Um, and I realized there was a massive gap in the market in London. I started off in street food. If somebody wants to come and start a business here, what do they have to think about? Um, I would really recommend doing some market research. See what people are selling, what's the most popular item. And you're releasing a cookbook. My cookbook is Sambal Shio. Yeah. So it essentially catalogues all of the recipes that I've used for the business. All this talk of food is making me very hungry. So we've come to Bang Bang Oriental where I'm going to meet my friend Jun and he's going to show me around. I'm very excited because it's an all Asian food court. Let's go. This is in the sense of Bang Bang Oriental. Yeah. And they have bubble tea. Well, one of the things that about these food, these food halls is that they get more and more popular. Yeah. I mean, they have Chinese food, but it's not just normal Chinese food. It's Chinese food from all over China. Which one's your favorite? Always go for Cha Siu Fan. It's yeah. something I grew up with. Anything Cha Siu, I love. I think my mum called me Cha Siu Bing when I was growing up as well. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get some? Yes. Oh my god, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. I overdid it. We have vegetables, we have meat, and we have broth. I was in the mood for Canton foods. I just said something about Charles Hill that makes me think about home. So how is it working as a journalist in the UK? Um, at the moment, I manage an East Asian news website. So it's basically for East Asians who are from in, living in the West and it's talking about stories that concerns them. It's called Resonate. I mean, when I grew up in the UK, I don't really see Chinese faces. All the portrayals that you see of Chinese people were stereotypes. So Resonate was the way of I've shown to people that we are part and fabric of the UK. What's your background? Uh, my parents were from the New Territories in Hong Kong. I grew up in a takeaway, so I had a very typical, you know, upbringing in the shops. I was 12 years old, they made me work in a fish and chip shop. For a lot of British born Chinese people, it's a way for us to connect with our parents as well. For them to make the sacrifice to come from Hong Kong to Europe to have a better life. It's really inspirational in a lot of ways. We work with them, it's the way sort of we show love and the family is part of the unit. We started our day in East London, then we headed north and now we're west. And as you can tell, anywhere you go in London or in the UK really, you can really find food that'll suit your palate. So uh, I'm Evelyn Mock and I am signing off for today. See you next time.